Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Ryan Strasnitsky is a former Humboldt Bronco player. He's one of the survivors of that terrible accident that occurred almost three years ago. Ryan revealed that the lockdown forced him to address his mental and emotional well-being after everything shut down. He's speaking out about how the therapeutic, how therapeutic it is, and it has been to talk to others about what's going on inside, which we can all learn from. He's joining us this morning. And you're, are you at home in Airdrie, Ryan? Good morning. Morning, Ryan. Hey, um, yeah, I'm, I'm in Airdrie. Nice, man. Well, thank you for joining us, dude. And uh, serious topics that you are getting into because it is serious times for everybody. And we'll start with men and mm -hmm. mental health. And why do you think is it, it's tough for us dudes to really kind of talk about it and, and reach out? I think the, uh, the biggest stigma is that it's so emasculating and it's going to make us weak. But, you know, I you know, beg to differ, really. I mean, um, if you're working on your mental and physical health, I think it's the strongest thing you can do. And um, it's, it's super powerful, but there's just this, this idea that, you know, if men go and seek help and try and work on themselves, it, they're considered weak. So, um, obviously there's, there's needs to be more talk around this subject, but I think it's, it's one of the strongest things you can do is, is work on yourself. Speaking of all I see is strength right now, Ryan, mm -hmm. looking at you, you're a true miracle to be here. You embody everything, uh, resilient and strong. So talk to us about what this pandemic has been like for you, because I know you said like many people out there, it's really affected your mental health. How so? Yeah, just not being able to do anything and, um, you know, not being able to see teammates and friends as much or go out and do things and, and kind of get your mind off of everything else. is just super tough, but um, I've been able to <clears throat> sort of collect my thoughts and, and start, you know, picking up new habits. Like I just started picking up the guitar and, and learning card tricks and, um, you know, hanging out with family more. So, I mean, there's there's two different ways to look at it. But, I mean, obviously the negative is that there's not as much you can do now. But I think the positive is that there's more time to do everything else that, you know, maybe you wouldn't have done before. So, mm -hmm. um, for me, it's just about keeping busy and, and picking up new things and uh, trying to keep myself, um, you know, occupied. It's a, and you know you've been you've been on the ice. You've got the arena. You got the rink, I should say, at, at home. There, you're getting into sledge hockey, and of course, you want to compete for Canada in 2022. Tell us more about that. Yeah. So my goal right after the accident was, um, you know, I knew the extent of my injuries, and I wanted to compete in the Paralympics to win a gold medal, which was uh, which in the sport of sledge hockey is is uh, really dear to me because hockey's been such a huge part of my life. So. Um, my goal is to continue to, to strive for that and make the team at some point and uh, that I'm continuing to, uh, to work hard for it and uh, train lots and get on the ice as much as I can and, and just better myself. But I mean, in the end, I'm just having fun with it and kind of seeing where it takes me. Ryan, what did it feel like when you first were back on that ice? What was that feeling like after thinking about it for so long and working so hard as we saw in rehab? What was that moment like? It was incredible. I mean, it was one of the best days of my life, honestly, but uh, I haven't been on the ice in, in on that ice uh, in like three years. So uh, to be out there with uh, my family and uh, my friends is just absolutely incredible. So uh, yeah, in the video there, it's, uh, it's it was almost three years since I've been up there and, uh, you know, playing stand up hockey. So mm -hmm. to be out there with my little brother is uh, incredible because I think that's the first time we've actually like, passed and played together without fighting so awesome. uh, pretty pretty special moment that's so cool to see and, and ryan it's got to be a tough weight to carry on because people look at you as inspiration they look to you for inspiration right and, and it's got to be tough some days who do you look to for inspiration there's so many people in my life and and people that i've met that just inspire me to keep pushing and um there's so many influential people in the world that i look up to and and kind of stalk on social media and, and uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. tv so um you know, my man, my mentor, Chris Cedarstrand here in uh, Calgary, he's someone I look up to because, you know, he, we both had uh, parallel stories and, uh, you know, he ended up making the, the sledge hockey team for Team Canada and, and competed. So uh, he's coaching me through the whole process and he's just a great person overall. So I, I look up to him lots and I'm um, continuing to kind of follow in his footsteps. That's amazing. Are you still watching? Are you watching the NHL? Because we got this North Division, and I know you're in Alberta. That's Battle of Alberta and Edmonton <laughs> and Calgary. Uh, Leafs are leading the division. Uh, who are you looking at, uh, and who are you cheering for? Um, I'm actually a Chicago fan. Oh! I mean, uh, <laughs> in, the, in the Calgary or in the North Division, I got to cheer for Calgary just because it's the hometown team. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a Chicago fan. Okay, so you have a lot of fans out there, right? Mm -hmm. If people want to keep up uh, with you, where do they go? 
Uh, any, any social media. I mean, uh, you know, my Instagram, I'm pretty active on there or uh, Twitter. Um, I'm always posting videos of rehab and, um, you know, kind of what's going on in my life. So, I mean, if they want to get in touch, I mean, for sure, shoot me a message and I'll, you know, talk to you as best I can. There it is. Our Straz is where you can find them. Straz, thank you for joining us this morning, dude. We continue to watch that journey and we continue to be inspired by you. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks. All right, back with more VT after this. Take care, man. Love to you and your family.